In this episode of Cars Plus, we're going to show you how to restore stainless steel trim in a special way. A couple tips and tricks, they're going to show you the way to get it done when it doesn't seem possible. Stainless steel trim was commonly used between the 1930s and the 1960s in American-made automobiles. While we're working on a gram piece of trim, these tips and tricks will work on other makes also. Stainless steel trim, highly polished, was used in lieu of chrome at many times in America. Here we have a piece of stainless steel trim. Now some work's been done to it. And you can see in certain ways it looks pretty good. We can find there are still some little scratches if you can see them on the video. Those have to be hey, polished out, etc. That's going to take a little bit more work. But that's the easy part on doing a piece of trim like this. Let's look at a side. If we look at a side, there's portions of it that are done and beautiful. But then there's portions like right here where you can see there are dents in the side of the trim. Those dents are really the topic of this video because we're going to show you what's going to happen when we try to get to those dents. There's a metal piece back here that was bent at the factory. Now if we try to get in at those dents and we put a screwdriver in here, we can't get to everything. If we try to put in, and this works better, but if we tried to put in a pry bar, we still can't get to everything because of the shape of this side and that side. Looking at trying to use a punch. Well, you definitely can't get in there to use a punch. That's wherein our special part here comes in. We created this part specifically so that we could have a little anvil we can work against. And you can see we have put a slot here, slotted the end, and left our little anvil on the end. So this is our custom tool so we can put this in a vise and get in here and show you how we will get those dents. We'll tighten it up in our vise here and we're going to put our part in, get our anvil over where we might have a dent, and we take our little ball peen hammer and we go back and forth and work those dents up. And we'll occasionally look and see how we're doing. Okay, we got some of them up. We're going to move a little bit more over this way. And once we've pounded them up a little bit, now we're going to go over and proceed to the next step. Here we have an old cake pan with some water and a couple drops of Dawn dish soap. Doesn't matter if it's looks clean or not. The purpose is to wet sand. We're going to wet sand this part a little bit using 320 wet and dry paper wrapped around, and we'll show you that, a three-quarter by half inch block of brass. You want something in this case that's going to be smooth because we have a basically straight surface we're working on. And we'll sand this a little bit, and the purpose behind the sanding is to see what we still have for low spots. We'll wipe it off and take a little look, and you'll see we've gotten rid of most of the dent already. There's a little teeny divot here, and we'll go back and tap that again for this little one by my fingernail. And then we will come back and do a little light sanding. The sanding's purpose is only to find the low spots at this point. Once we get all the low spots tapped out and the minor sanding done, we'll switch our little sanding block to 600 grit sandpaper, and we'll finish it out with that and wet sand it. And you'll end up with a surface a lot like this. It'll look almost like it's polished, but it'll need to have final polishing to finish it. But that gives you a way to work into places you can't otherwise work. You're going to have to make yourself a specialized little anvil that you can get into various places. And on a gram side trim, that shows you the one that's necessary there. For other pieces of side trim between the 30s and 60s on various American cars, you'll need to make a different form of anvil, but that's the only way you're going to get in and fix stainless steel trim.